folks, welcome back. Casey with Two Tankards here. Today we're going to be looking at video number 12, which is installation of your X, Y, and Z limit switches. Bulkman didn't account for this and there was no brackets for it, so you kind of have to make your own. So in this video, we're going to look at how I installed mine for all three axis X, Y, and Z. So stay tuned. First, we will install the X axis limit switch. I had to make my own bracket as Bulkman does not have specific brackets for this and they didn't come in the package. I simply used a short piece of 2020 extruded aluminum and a simple L bracket from my local big box store. I installed the assembly on the front left side of the gantry as that will be my home location for calibration in a future video. Next, I installed my Y-axis limit switch. Again, I used a simple L bracket from my local hardware store. I installed the limit on the front left side of the Y-axis just like we did earlier for the X-axis. The Z-axis limit switch was a bit more of a challenge. The only threaded holes available are on the back of the Z-axis gantry plate. So, to fix this issue, I had to design and 3D print a custom bracket that would bolt onto the back of the gantry plate and reach around to the side of the 4080C channel. The bracket design has multiple hole locations so I could mount the switch in different configurations on the side based on my specific application. In addition, if my limit switch fails in the future and I replace it with another brand, it may not have the same dimensions, so with multiple holes, I will have options later and I will run into any problems. In addition, I printed a simple L bracket to bolt onto the side of the 4080 channel. It has a large contact plate so I have room to move and adjust the switch and not worry about alignment of the switch, contact arm, and the bracket if I have to change brands or switches later on in the future. And the last step is to then locate the three limit switch wire bundles which you should have clearly marked and labeled based on an earlier video. Connect all three limit switches and run them back to your black box. Well that's it folks for video number 12 on installing the limit switches. It's not a simple easy task. You kind of have to figure it out on your own. Bulkman never did account for it, but hopefully with this video, it kind of guided you through and it gave you some ideas. As always, if you like my videos, please click like and subscribe, and we'll see you on video number 13.